women. I see you. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. Having a lot of women, different type of people, different yeah. culture on your channel and getting to know them, going on dates and stuff like that. And then you point out that Ghanaian men are approaching you more than... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's speak on that a little bit. So uh, back in Dallas, there was a, that was a similar thing where it got to a point where I had so many men approaching me in Dallas mm. and so little women uh, that would be just with a nasty attitude or they, it would be hard to deal with them. So I started asking people, do I look gay or something? Like, is the way I dress gay? Is, <laughs> do I need to change something? You know, and they would all say, oh, no, well, why is it like that? So everywhere I've been to in the world, that hasn't been the case. In Brazil, there's in Salvador, there's a lot of gay. Uh, that's a huge gay tourism spot. They mm. have a gay beach, everything like that. Mm. Even there, I didn't get that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, here and there you would, but for the most part, no. When I came here, I start. I noticed the same thing. Not that the women are rude; they're not rude, but for the most part, they're kind of very stand not standoffish but they're very reserved mm. in a way where it comes off like they're uninterested mm. that's why i said on my channel it's like they are pretending that they're not interested we say yeah and I, that's a u.s trait uh and i had the my tour guy he's from here and he told me that uh they're very into american culture so mm -hmm. when i heard that i started looking around like damn that's what they do in the states too i seen dudes sagging their pants that came from the states